Welcome to our video, which will show you how to set up and carry out the GCSE Biology Required Practical on Food Tests. In this video, we'll show you how to carry out different tests on food to test for starch, sugars, lipids and proteins. For this practical, you'll need some test tubes and a test tube rack, a Bunsen burner, a selection of different foods, a 10 milliliter measuring cylinder, filter funnel and filter papers, some goggles, a pestle and mortar, disposable pipettes, a 250 milliliter flask, and a 250 milliliter beaker. You'll also need some ethanol, iodine solution, Benedict solution, Biorex A and Biorex B, some deionized water, a tripod and gauze, and a thermometer. The first thing your students will need to do is to grind up a food sample with a pestle and mortar, as you can see I'm doing here with a sample of bread. They would then add water to the food sample and we can also stir it with a stirring rod to make sure it ends up as a solution. Your students would then filter the solution into a test tube. It's really important that your students wear their safety glasses for the rest of this practical. So here's the solution that they've filtered from the food sample. And the first thing these students are going to add is some iodine solution. And if it changes to a bluey black color like we can see here, that indicates the presence of starch. And this test can be repeated on the other food samples. Your students would then use a 250 milliliter beaker and set it up as a water bath and heat that up to approximately 80 degrees C. In this test tube, I've got a small amount of food solution from some broken up biscuits and I'm adding to it a few drops of Benedict solution. This is then placed in the water bath for around five minutes. After five minutes, we can see the Benedict solution has turned into a brick red color and this indicates the presence of sugar. This test can be repeated with the other food samples. Your students can then carry out the test for protein. This is a two-step method, and we get one milliliter of Biorex solution A, to squirt that in, and then we get one milliliter of Biorex B, and then we shake it up, and we'll come back and see if we've got any type of color change. We can now see that the Biorex solution has taken on more of a purple colour compared to the blue that it started out as, so that indicates that this particular food contains protein. And the test for lipids is to add a few drops of ethanol to the food solution. Then we add a few drops of water. And then we shake the solution. And we'll come back to that in a minute. And with this test, the presence of an emulsion shows that the food substance contained lipids. There is a much simpler test you can carry out to test for the presence of lipids. And that's where you get the food substance, such as this cheese, and gently rub it on a filter paper. You then hold the filter paper up to a light source, such as a window. And if the filter paper becomes translucent, then that tells you that the food substance contained lipids. We hope you found this practical advice useful. For expert technical support, please contact the Philip Harris technical support team on techsupport at philipharris.co.uk or visit our blog at philipharris.co.uk forward slash blog.